Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. What I see. In this video, let us see a monitor from Zebronix and its model is EA124. It is a 24 inch monitor. So this is the box as usual. We will see the box and uh, we will do the unboxing of the product. So here on the box you can see the Zebronix logo here and here and also the Zebronix text. And over here you can see the model number that is ZEB LED monitor 60.4 centimeter and the monitor model is EA124 and it is also saying pure pixel and it has dual input VGA and HDMI and its refresh rate is 75 Hertz and it has 250 nits of brightness and it is an IPS display and as usual there is a Zebronix uh, website here so this is on the front to the side you have a Zebronix logo and over the back you have some more details like again the model number is mentioned here pure pixel is mentioned this is the Rithik Roshan this vector image is mentioned and it is a brand ambassador and uh, few features are mentioned here like 16 by 9 aspect ratio 16.7 million colors Slim design, ultra slim bezel, FHD, it is a wall mountable also, built in speaker and metal stand. So this is the image and uh, over here it says how to install the metal stand to the monitor. And over here you have some details which says it is imported and marketed by Zebronix India Private Limited and its office is at Chennai. It is manufactured on Jan 1st, 2024 and imported on February 2nd, 2024. The generic name is Zebronic Monitor. Model name is ZEBEA124. It is from People's Republic of China. The price is 25,000. Dimension is given in WDH that is 54 into 0 0.7 into 39 centimeter. Then package contains one monitor, base, one stem, one HDMI cable, power adapter, one user manual. And for warranty and all, you can go to the website and see that is uh, Zebronix slash page slash warranty policy, all these things. And for complaints, you have this uh, Zebronix email ID and customer care number. So that is all on to the back side. And to the other side, also there is pretty much nothing except these details which is there on the front and uh, BIS number is also been given. So that's all. On top there is nothing. So now let us open the box and see how the monitor looks. So box was already opened as we got this uh, from open box delivery. The delivery guy has repacked it again. So we are just opening it. So now let us unbox the monitor and see. As you can see the box is already open as we have got this in uh, open box delivery. The delivery guy opened it, checked it and uh, repacked it again the same. So first we will have to open this latch then we'll have to pull out this then pull this then open this pull it out so that's all nothing much in the box i'm keeping the box aside so this is the box inside which has been protected with uh, thermocol so here we have a couple of items which we'll be showing it to you now so first you have a user manual second there's a hdmi cable with some screws third is a stand fourth is a stem and next lastly we have the adapter if i open this thermocol down we have the monitor itself so it has been uh, covered with the thin foam so this is the monitor so now after the unboxing now we will connect the stand for this uh, monitor to be placed on the table so this is the stem and this is the stand uh, they have given some screws with it inside this hdmi cable
dejar dos screws. So these are the two screws. So what happens is this is a stand. On top of the stand, we'll have to place this uh, connectors like this. So stand will fix like this. And to connect this, we'll have to add a screw here. So for that, they are given a screw which has to be connected. So you can see the screw is connected here. So here what you'll have to do is the hole which has been given here and the stand you'll have to match it. And now we will have to push the stand inside. So it will go and lock. Keep it like this and press it. And you should put a small screw here which has been given. So I'll take the small screw and I'll hold this uh, stand in one hand. Just gently add the screw to it. So now we have finished the installation and this is how the monitor looks once you connect it back. So next thing is we will power it on. So for powering it on, we will have to take the adapter and uh, remove it from the packet which has been given. And uh, this is the adapter, and this is the pin. So this is the model of the adapter. So the model is HSZC841203 00 ID is the model and uh, it has 100 to 240 watts uh, input in 50 or 60 hertz in 1 amp max. Output is 12 watts in 3 amps in 3 in uh, 36 watt. So this is the model and I'll be plugging in one end to the power cord. So I'll be connecting it to the power cord here and uh, over here at the back you can see as it says uh, two display inputs one is hdmi and one is vga and this is the audio out if you want to connect a headphone and all you can connect it and uh, this is the power adapter point so i am connecting this power pin to the socket here and uh, i will rotate the monitor and keep like this and i will switch it on and i will power on the monitor so this is the monitor how it looks now it's saying no signal because we are now connected any hdmi or vga to it once we connect it to the system we will show you a couple of its details and how it looks and all the main purpose of uh, zebronic monitor was so as you can see here the monitor we are getting double display so that is why we have planned to change this monitor this is a benq monitor which i am using it from past five six years it was working fine and nothing issue is there but suddenly what happened i don't know it is having the double display we tried to ask whether we can pair this but the service centers did not uh, say anything or did not come back to us for repairing this so that's why we thought we will change it to a new monitor so here if you see this monitor is working fine and all the display is all perfect so that is why we are planning to shift this monitor for zebronics we will install the monitor over here and we'll show you what are the basic requirements is there for installing a monitor so for better understanding i will put my edit screen over here and show you so for clear visibility I'll just drag my edit software to this monitor where you can see the whole monitor is perfectly working. So as you can see, we have shut down the system completely. Now only the display from the monitor is coming. So we will switch this off also and we will transfer it to the new monitor. So as you can see, we have removed the old monitor which was having the display issue. We have removed it and now I'll get the new monitor and place it over here. So as you can see, we have placed the new monitor. So let me connect the power to it and let's see how it boots up. So for that first, as we told you in unboxing, we'll have to remove this wire for the adapter and connect it to the power source. So I have plugged the adapter down in the power socket and the spin, I'll be connecting it below. It will be good that I'll turn this side and I will connect it from the back. So 
So now I have connected the HDMI and I have connected the power adapter. I'll just power it on so we can see the display. Now I'll switch on the system and we can see the display from the system. I have turned on the system. Let us see the display which comes to this monitor. You can see the display is coming on the first screen which is towards this side. After the boot up, the display will come here also. See, the display is coming on the second screen as well. So I will log in. I am entering my password here so we can see the display which is coming on the screen. So now the display is little dull. We can get the settings up and we can get the display little bit brightened. So as you know there are buttons below. Let us see what and all the each button does. The last button is for powering off and powering on. And the next button is for selection. Third button is for changing the color of a midpoint and the fourth button you can increase and decrease the brightness. It all the way goes up to 100. Depends on you, however you want you can keep it. So I will keep it in 50. And so all these things you can play around to get the correct value. I'll select the brightness and I'll scroll down to the contrast and in echo, I'll change the mode. So whatever mode I want, I can keep it from here. So there are few modes. For example, standard, text, movie, game, scenery, FPS, RTS and again to standard. And then we have DCR, so DCR on or off. So let me see what is DCR and I will put it in the text as below. Then we have low blue, so it will cut all the blues I guess. So um, see this is the strongest value, median value, weak value and off. And you have signal source, we have connected to HDMI. So in contrast I am keeping it in 50 in standard, then coming back to So now I have done the reset. So now it is on. I guess it's matching properly now. Or according to the user's value, user can also set it. So previously you saw how was the screen. Now let me show you how's the screen. So here you can see I am starting a Final Cut Pro and uh, see the screen is like this. So previously you saw how the screen was. So now you can see how the screen is. We have a lot of difference compared to the other monitor to this. So this is the main reason why we got this monitor particularly. We come to the end of this video. So hope you like this video and then if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button below and also press the notification button. So you will be notified as we post the videos and if you have already subscribed it share it with your friends and families and if you have any feedbacks or comments let us know in the comment section below. Thanks again for joining us on this adventurous tech journey. We will see you in the next video. Until next time stay safe, stay healthy, bye.